Uh, should we get straight in there to our top story tonight? Some of the most senior ministers in the government have been accused of outright racism. I've got to be honest, though, when are they not, quite frankly? Anyway, but this time it's with their language around small burnt migrants. The immigration minister, Robert Jenrick, says the values and lifestyles of some of those people crossing the channel are a threat to social cohesion within this country. Uh, meanwhile, Home Secretary Suella Braveman has backed those remarks, basically, and said that, indeed, some illegal migrants have values at odds with her own and suggest that they were connected to heightened levels of criminality. Outraged, I tell you, some people are absolutely outraged. Are you one of them, Alex? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, I think the days when um, political opponents could say um, to somebody, you're racist, and that for meant that they won the debate, whatever it was that had been said, are long past. That um, trope is exhausted, people have seen through it, and people actually try to evaluate for themselves whether or not the thing that's been said is offensive or racist or not. And in this example, if you think about it, um, paying people smugglers thousands of pounds is contrary to British values. Um, coming to a country uh, without the permission of that country, after all, we should decide who comes to this country and the manner in which they come, and the extent to which somebody thinks differently to that, I, I suggest is not an election-winning uh, proposition, uh, is contrary to the values of this country. And jumping the queue is co profoundly contrary to the values of this country. So, no, I don't think they are uh, uh, racist. I don't think, even think that they're wrong in the slightest to point this out. I think they're saying absolutely what their electors think. And I'll go one further. So Ella Braveman didn't just say this about small boats. She also said it about the, un the systematic unwillingness to point out the obvious connection between people abusing children in paedophile rings in towns around England uh, who all had the same heritage and background and said that facts and truth can't be racist. John, your thoughts? Um, Jenrick is... Um, it's not a dog whistle, is it? It's like a foghorn shouting at the... Uh, the British electors to say, are you racist? Come and vote for us in the local elections. It's an act of desperation to use the, the rhetoric of the EDL and bring it in to a ministerial speech, a speech that must have been approved of by Sir Alan Bravin, that must have been signed off by Number 10. So this rancid, racist language what is the language is of this government. What specifically is rancid and racist that's been said? To say that the values and the lifestyle of a Sudanese child trying to come to Britain to escape the civil war uh, is not British. That but say, you are, say but you're deliberately, coming, no, no, you're deliberately people, picking out people, Sudanese child they're, they're, because, I mean, the number of Sudanese children that are making those channel crossings will be minimal, uh, you know, if any. Robert, Gen uh, Robert, very Jenrick, small Robert Jenrick is saying people, foreigners who are mainly people of colour who are choosing to come to Britain because they love our country, which is the most British value of all. They love our respect for freedom. Why would they, they love a country if it was rancid and racist? But no, it's, it's, the, it's the rancid and racist government we've got with the right. rancid and racist language. There's nothing wrong with this country. So, They're getting rid of the racist John, government wouldn't make better. That's extraordinary to me, because, what, first of all, you deliberately elide over the fact he said some to choose the person that you think is the most attractive for your case, the Sudan new Sudanese child. Had Robert he Jenrick... Didn't, had, he, didn't, he, didn't give some he, he did, he said some. Had, had, he did, he, he, said, he said some people. And... and had he said, the Sudanese children trying to come to this country are abominable or whatever, what like, as you just suggested he did, he I would be on your side. We all but, know but more, more, no, we don't. You meant the black and, and brown no, people. No, we don't. And uh, don't. that is what I meant about this tired trope. And some people um, still think that something that if you threw it at somebody in the 90s, if you're working for Blair and you threw it at somebody, it probably would work. You're a racist, ha ha, I win. It's not, the tr not true anymore. People will no, think no, about it and policy. listen to it. It's not racism. And it's the amazing policy. thing is, you've gone from twisting what he said about an individual to Painting an entire government entire as racist government. and racist. People made. see through this, John. It's not going to work anymore. Well, but no, no. If you if you if you want to bring the national, the, the former National Front, the old BNP, the EDL vote, the fragments uh, on the on the far right of British politics to support the Tory Party, be my guest. Go for all money. Um, but this is this this kind of language is hated by ordinary British people. Do you know who sees through it the most? That's amazing. Ordinary British people. It's working class people in this country who look at uh, as it, look, who, black or brown. who look or no black or brown. who want to yes of course. And it's, they're very often the people who have the biggest question over illegal immigration are those in the last generation who came here lawfully this and see people jumping the queue. No refugees it's not are about illegal. concern about migration. Refugees is, cannot be illegal. Yes, of course they can. No, they can't. Yeah, yes, of course they can. Those whose claims are found to be false. Treaty, 
forgot. Those whose claims, those whose claims are found to be false and have paid people smugglers to come here, are amongst the very worst sort of people no, who no, ignore any form uh, of due process and try to come no here through to through people smugglers. Well, that's where you're wrong. And no the extent, this is the farce of your position, in which makes a mockery of international law, is the For belief Iranians? that people who pay, hang on, people who pay to, across to come across an entire continent to come to the UK, you're supposed to pretend they're still fleeing danger. Absurd. And the extent to which international law suspends your so uh, protects your position, it's wrong too. International law does protect my position because there is no such thing as an illegal refugee. So why does... You have the right to come to our country and apply for safety here. We take a, such a small number of refugees across the whole of, the, uh, whole of Europe, let alone the whole of the world. Uh, m there, are, there are millions and millions of refugees, almost all of whom live close to their own country because they hope to go back there. The people who want to come to our country come for noble reasons because they respect the values our country let's stands question for. That, let's question that assertion reason. of noble reasons. So again, I agree government. with you we should take more, and I agree with you that we should have more open routes that the people can apply. You are openly supportive of people paying people smugglers to come across an entire continent desperate. and still pretend people, they're desperate. People, people, no, they're not. Yeah, how desperate if they were pay? desperate, they'd apply they're in a country before they pay. got to the channel, wouldn't they? Because they're desperate, they pay. They're just desperate to come from they France. they want to rejoin their family members. Over Why isn't France... France? That's preference. That's preference, not desperation. Why, if they're desperate, if they're so desperate as you say, why don't they apply in France? I would love every single asylum seeker to be processed in France to be able to apply to a British, uh, to British Home Office representatives in France, be properly, be properly dealt with there, and then be brought to Britain. As, you you as have not, sorry, John, as yeah, 80, you as haven't answered John, me. You're not answering this question. If they're desperate, why don't they apply to the French? Same reason we don't live in France. They like the UK. That's I love preference, UK. not desperation. I love the UK, and I think it's really strange. You allied constantly contempt, between desperation and our, preference. A, to a Tory government who are meant uh, to love our country have contempt for people who express the deepest love for our country you could ever do. The de the I'll give you one more go, John. Paying, it's it's very paying. obvious you're unwilling to answer because you can, you're deliberately crossing over between desperation, which is what you use to defend your position, and preference, which is what you switch to okay. when I ask you about the desperation. If they're desperation, okay. if they're desperate, why don't they apply people, for asylum people, in France? People want to come here from Afghanistan, from Iraq, Isn't from France Iran, safe? From, from Sudan they'll be coming. And they want to come here and Somaliland and Somalia and it's because the British Empire went to those countries and some of the people who've not been able to come, to Af come from Afghanistan served our country as security, as translators, they were abandoned, we brought... This government preferred to get pets, cats and dogs out of Afghanistan rather than people who'd worked for us, worked with us. That's a very we, strong the moral way, argument the way, the way, for, for the way, accepting the, more refugees. We, and you know what? I said we should take more people from the, Afghanistan. We, but if people are coming to this country, to this country across the channel, our country went to theirs. why we, don't they apply? We've, we've they're desperate, as you say. Century, why don't they apply before. for asylum in France? What's wrong I'd with like France? Just, uh, what's wrong with France? It's not Britain. I wouldn't want to live in France. I wouldn't want to live in Britain. Britain's the greatest country in the world apart from the government that's got at the Can moment. I just drill down on this notion, that bring it back to this point about racism, because mm. what you were just saying earlier on is that you feel like this narrative is a foghorn, mm. it's not dog whistle, it's foghorn, yeah. and it's basically devised uh, to turn us around mm. against black and brown yeah. people, yeah. your words. But how does that fit then with us having um, a brown-skinned prime minister, a brown-skinned home secretary? H how does that fit with what you're telling me, that these brown leaders want to turn me as a white person against brown people. You've got a government, the, 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 very, the very white, the kind of the white bread of Robert Jenrick, uh, who made this speech. I'm not this asking you about Robert Jenrick. No, I'm asking, you're racist, saying the this, government this, is this, racist, this, so I'm asking this, you. Of course this government's racist. The way, they, the, the way that they're trying, to, they're trying to make miserable people, desperate people, even so, 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 well, so, so, so well a brave of it. She's the most well diverse a brown cabinet in history. Lady, she, she, uh, married to a Jewish person. She, you're saying she, that these remarks that she makes as uh, an ethnic minority is devised to turn white people against brown and black a, people. It's a racist foghorn to use immigration How do you and square refugees. that circle, though, that this person circle? herself because, because, is a brown lady? Because, because, because this government are so unpopular and so desperate to cling to power, they will do anything. And what they've seen from the focus groups, clearly from the focus groups, is that the EDL supporters and the BNP supporters <coughs> will vote Conservative if they hear this language. Do you think... They don't, they don't believe... Either, either the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary do not for one second believe they're going to do this. But if they were going to do this, what they're saying is, if you come as a child 
unaccompanied to our country. 5,000 came last year. Those 5,000 children will be put behind wire until they're adults. You, you're until all right, they're I'm going to John, you've, you've then, made the made point. Once they become adults, they'll be thrown out of the country. That is the John, thing that's destroying there, our values. There comes a time when you clearly have to look at somebody and say, I can see that you think you have morality on your side, and that therefore you can say whatever you like about people. You can call them racist, you can smear them, you can say, you're, because they are wrong, you're so tolerant, you can no longer tolerate another perspective. I get that. But when, well, I think it's wrong, but I understand. Um, when you look at at a government and you see it made up of Rishi Sunak, James Cleverley, Kemi Badenoch, Suella Braveman, and say, look at that bunch of racists, the most diverse cabinet in history. It takes a truly perverse perspective, um, distorted by that sense of absolute moral uh, no, just, righteousness, not, to I, think I, that I'm, you're right. I, I judge people by their words and by their actions. And the actions of the immigration system are both incompetent, racist and vile. But the words, the words that say that brown and black people coming to our country... Uh, those are your are words. Yeah. No, our, they're threatening our values and lifestyles. Those people That's didn't say thing. brown and black people. No, of course they will have meant as much the law-breaking Albanians coming here while Albania is safe. He say brown and black. He doesn't need to say oh, brown you, and black. You really didn't, That's you. The, That's the I mean, honestly. That, why, you're the, the absolute arbiter of what people say. Yeah, we should have you on after every interview to explain why they're bigoted and racist. I would be an I mean, excellent ridiculous. interpreter of the government. One of the things that I um, dislike about this whole kind of labelling everything as racist... It's only racist things I label racist. Because no, it ever. reminds me of the whole Brexit conversation, uh -huh. where there was a lot of people, particularly in working class communities, the same communi communities that are having these uh -huh. uh, vast kind of uh, migrant placements put, uh, put, uh, put um, among them. It's those kind of people that are sitting there going, hang on a second, we're small towns, small villages, whatever. We're suddenly having hundreds and hundreds of people placed into our local area. They're concerned about integration and all the rest of it. Calling those uh, concerns racist for me echoes back to the Brexit conversation where people that wanted to leave the European Union and have sovereignty uh, from Westminster as opposed to Brussels, that was called racist as well. So isn't it just the case that actually if you don't like the policy, it's just a quick and easy way and yeah. almost as an attempt to silence conversation because any decent-minded person uh, doesn't want to be called a racist. It's a racist is an awful thing. Most people are not racist. So when you start pointing fingers going, you racist, you racist, you racist, I would put it to you that a lot of people do so in order to silence that opinion simply because they just do not well, like no, it. Like if it, if it if it's racist, I'll call it out for being racist. This government is racist, their immigration policy is racist. Do you think Brexit the bill, was racist? The, the, the bill going through, I think some of the people who supported uh, Brexit were racist, of course. Um, I, don't, I think Brexit was a choice, it was the wrong choice, it was a stupid choice. John, and have you wondered about the crossover on the Venn diagram between things that are racist and things with which John McTernan disagrees?